by Cherie, and today we're going to do a flexor tenotomy and capsulotomy. Now, we do a bunch of those, but this one's a little bit different. This one's actually going to be on the first toe, so the big toe. Um, it's unusual because that one just doesn't cause many problems for some reason as far as a hammer toe goes. Her toe is a little bit different as well. It's not actually a hammer toe. It's not bending down, but the muscles in her leg are not working properly, so the toe gets stuck in a downward position. By releasing the tendon on the bottom of the toe, I'm gonna allow it to be a little bit more floppy. That way it doesn't get stuck in that downward position. So, at this point, we've got our toe numbed up. We have also cleansed it with betadine. She's getting a nice little shot there. Um, so, for this procedure, there's only one joint in the big toe instead of two like the little ones. So that, gives us where to shoot for. Um, we use a 62 beaver blade for this. So it's a very straight blade. We'll put that together. I will try to get it together. Um, when we do her procedure, I'm gonna test her to make sure she's numb. Then I'm gonna bait it on the area one more time. Does it feel pretty numb? Yeah, good. A little bit more betadine on it and then I'm going to touch you my dear with something sharp just to make sure that you're not able to feel it anything there okay so I use my hand on top to fill the joint and of course you can see a line here in her skin and that usually indicates the joint as well I'm going to orient my blade in a vertical position for when I go in if you feel anything other than some pressure you let me know once I get in there, I do in and out motions. I also turn my blade horizontally at that point. That gives me a better cutting surface and it's gonna eliminate the need for a stitch because of the way we went in. All right, I can hear it crunching like celery. That's, you'll never eat celery the same way again, my dear. So we're gonna make sure we get all the way across the joint. We went through the tendon already. Nice little in and out motions. Outside edge there, gotta make sure we get that. We're gonna hug that bone so we don't touch anything that we shouldn't. And that stickiness that you saw, that was joint fluid, so we know we were in there. Okay, my dear, see if you can bend your toe down. So it doesn't, it bends down at the big toe joint. You're still gonna have motion down here. It will not bend at the smaller joint though. So that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna do one more check of it, just to make sure there aren't any little fibers in there hanging on. And there we have it. So we're gonna get her wrapped up. I will splint her toe in a position for about a week, somewhere between five days and seven. She's gonna leave this dressing on and not bother it at all for me. Do you have any questions on what you're gonna do with it or anything that you've just been thinking about? No? Perfect. We did our job explaining it. We've talked with her about this a couple of times and the timing was perfect today to do it. So we're gonna wrap her up. Make sure it's nice and pretty. I'll wrap it around the ankle just to make sure that it stays on. Now, the ace wrap, I do like to put it on a little bit tighter just so it stays on. If you need to take the ace wrap off and reposition it, you are more than welcome, but try to leave everything as is, okay? This just helps to make sure that the gauze doesn't come off. One little extra layer. It's a nice wrinkle. All right, you did 
good. Amazing. All right. So there we have it. That's our flexor tenotomy and capsulotomy on the big toe. Not the most common thing we do, but definitely a needed procedure in the office. If you have any issues with your big toes or your little toes, anything that would be hammered or causing pain on the tip of it, feel free to shoot us a question on here, make an appointment, we'd love to see you. And as always, if you like stuff like this, check out our YouTube channel and our Facebook. Have a good day.